Hey, and welcome into Vinny Rotino Baseball Academy. This is a channel where we're breaking things down, all things baseball. Uh, we're talking today about a friend of mine's son, Max Smith, Mike Smith, and Marcy Smith, obviously if, are raising a future Major League Baseball player named Max. Um, Max looks like a really good player, talented player, and we're just going to break down his swing, and we're really going to just kind of talk about what and how to kind of message some things to young players, nine-year-old players. It's a young age. It's kind of hard for, for these guys to understand exactly what's going on with their bodies and what's going on with their swings in terms of movement patterns and feeling things. So try to keep things simple. Try to give them external cues to really focus on and not necessarily internal cues, meaning like, hey, I want you to keep – you know, your swing nice and short, keep those hands, you know, doing this or that, um, kind of hard for them to understand, feel some of those things. So we're going to talk about how to message some of these things in particular, this one, um, key I would focus on with max. But before we get into that, I do want to say that this channel is brought to you by Maggie Rotino real estate. So please hit up my wife, Maggie, or her little brother, Ricky, they've teamed up and they are absolutely killing it in Southeastern Wisconsin for real estate. So if you're in the market to buy or sell a home in Southeastern Wisconsin, make sure you are connecting with my wife or Maggie Rotino or her little brother, Ricky Kuyper on uh, social media. Um, it's also brought to you by Lockdown Brewers. Dom Catronio and I are discussing all things Milwaukee Brewers three days a week right now during the lockout. And then once spring training starts, we are going to be hitting it up uh, five days a week and discussing everything that has to do with the Milwaukee Brewers. So we're having a blast doing that. We're getting some fun guests on. We had Rock on the other day. Um, we had Brent Suter on the other day. My goodness, was that hilarious. But uh, please check that out. Go over there and subscribe. And please remember to subscribe to this channel as well. So, all right, let's go ahead and take a look at Max Stud player right here max smith nine years old we're going to compare him to jace peterson but let's go ahead and just kind of take a look at max's swing right off the bat real good swing first of all athletic obviously gets his athleticism from marcy mike's my friend mike's wife i played with mike over in uh, lacrosse in college and we have stayed pretty good buddies to this day but uh anyway so max really athletic swing here but what we're going to take a look at he gets really good extension through the baseball. His lower half works well. His so lower half works really well. There's, there's a couple of things that we're going to highlight. Um, really just one in particular. Um, <clears throat> the reason why I compared him to Jace Peterson here is there, there is an athletic move here, and, it, um, and it's, it, it's, it's a more of a rotational move, I think. And Jace Peterson's similar, right? Jace Peterson kind of starts and has his lower half kind of drive the swing and his upper half is kind of coming along for the ride. So that's kind of what we're seeing here from Max as well. So I just want to show at foot plant where both these guys are. Max gets to foot plant. Really nice spot right here. Athletic 50-50 move. Jace actually is a, just a hair uh, behind center. And that's why he does have such great strike zone discipline. His head does not move much at all. Stays behind the baseball. Stays keeps that weight again behind <clears throat> that 50 50 spot just a hair probably 52 48 is what we're talking but anyway he's going to really lead and drive this swing with the lower half i talk about that inside part of that back foot being such a key and you can see how that weight is being and that force is being distributed into that inside part of that back foot all right so we're just going to keep going here the thing i want to really highlight here is the hands <clears throat> okay, so the hands on Max right here are kind of far away from his body, right? So they're kind of lagging behind. It's going to be behind everything right here. So we just want to make sure we try and actually tell him to fire those hands a little bit more. And the way that I would tell a nine-year-old to do this is just to keep their hands close to their body. So I kind of equate this, if you can see me up here in the screen, I say, guys, okay, look, would a boxer throw a punch like this? And then I illustrate the hand coming way far away and then throwing that haymaker really far away from their body. That's a slow, clumsy punch, similar to a baseball swing, where if our hands kind of get far away from our body, it's going to be a slower, a little more clumsy type of a swing that we're going to um, kind of have right here. So we're going to go ahead and get those hands. And, and how I equate that is then I, I, 
I tell them, keep your hands nice and tight to our body, just like a boxer throwing a punch really in tight and close. And so that's exactly what I tell a lot of nine-year-olds that I work with. And it really does resonate well with them. You do not want to get real. And I'm drawing a line here just to exemplify how far those hands are getting away from his body. And then look how nice and tight Jace Peterson's hands are to his body. Nice, short, compact swing right here with those hands. And so that's really all we're, we're highlighting here. And again, you just want to keep things simple with this age group. Do not, I mean, you'll get eyes glazed over um, if you're trying to get too, too much into the weeds on the technical things of, about the mechanics of the swing. And the other thing I did want to point out as well is take a look at how far out in front Jace Peterson is making contact with that baseball, right? So it is out in front of that front foot. Obviously, he's pulling this baseball. And then what we want to do is we want to make sure if we're kind of promoting that move of keeping our hands nice and tight to our body off the tee we want to make sure we get that tee a little bit further out in front and you're going to need him to get closer to this white line so both those things should promote that move of getting those hands close to our body and then go ahead and tell him off the tee let's go ahead and try and um try and fire this uh fire your hands through the pitcher and get this ball traveling up the middle through the pitcher. I think, again, that's an external cue, but what it's going to do, it's going to force him to really force those hands inside, inside the baseball, we call that, and close to his body out in front. So that's really the two things that I would kind of tweak right here. Again, a really good swing, really athletic swing. Again, obviously getting his athleticism from his mother, Marcy, and that's what, uh, and Mike, Mike had a very long swing at lacrosse as well. Really good, solid player. He was our catcher. We almost made it to the, to the College World Series that year, but um, Mike did have a long swing. Every once in a while, a gopher would pop his head up to check out what time it was, and Mike would get a base hit. That's what our buddy James the Kramer said. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I should have Mike on, on the channel here, and we can just talk about James the Kramer for a couple episodes, and we would get everybody rolling, but I digress. Keep those hands nice, tight to our body and keep that T out in front. And Max going to be on his way to the major leagues in no time. Really appreciate you guys tuning in and we will talk with you next time.